Hey guys, this is Dan with Red Tech, and I'm going to be going over some of the key benefits of working with Red Files. I like to call them the three R's, Resolution, Raw, and Red Code. So let's go ahead and take a look. I'm going to be opening an 8K file within Red Cine X, and the first thing I'm going to be going over is Resolution. One of the easiest ways to understand resolution is comparing it with the current standards out there. So I'm going to be setting a custom crop of 1920 by 1080 on this 8K image. As you'll notice, all you can see within that 1080 crop is just the football. I can fit this 1080 about 17 times within this frame. So let's move on to a newer standard, which is your Ultra HD resolution. That resolution is going to be 3840 by 2160. And even in Ultra HD, I still have all this extra working space. This will allow me to reframe, stabilize without losing resolution, more info for the VFX guys, I'm future proofing my work, and the list goes on. But what you'll really notice as the resolution goes up is that you're actually seeing a much cleaner, natural, organic feeling image. Now let's move on to RAW. Every RED camera gives you the ability to shoot in RAW. This will allow you to have complete control of your image. For example, say I forgot to white balance and left the camera on tungsten and the image is all blue. It doesn't matter because I can change any of the metadata parameters in post. Another example is ISO. I can lower it to make it darker or raise ISO to make it brighter. Or say I want to have it black and white. I can just remove the saturation or I can bring it back up. I even have the ability to change the color space or gamma curve. I can go to red log film to get my flat negative and grade it any way I want. Maybe I go with the house of cards look or I could go with a straight out of Compton style but just being a raw image gives me the advantage to create whatever vision I have. Finally, there is red code, which is the least sexiest topic, but my personal favorite. An easy way to understand red code compression is to just see file sizes. So I'm just gonna make a single frame 16-bit TIFF with this snapshot button here, and I'm gonna make a single frame R3D still with this R3D snapshot button. As you can see, here's a TIFF file, which is 212 megabytes. It's a great file to work with in Photoshop or whatever you want. And right under it is the raw R3D file, which I pulled the TIFF from, and it's only five megabytes. Easy enough to email to someone. Red code is what allows us to record high res raw files in such a small file format. And the best part is you're able to record hours of 8K raw files onto our Red Mini Mag. And if you're on the latest line of DSMC2 cameras, you can record Apple ProRes or Avid DNX HD or HR files which we'll be going over in a future episode of RedTech.